Hello folks, welcome back. My name's Tony. I'm a hobby beekeeper here in southern Ohio. I'm about 30 minutes north of the Ohio River in the south central part of the state, northern Adams County. We are a USDA Zone 6A. Uh, today is March 6th and it was in the mid 60s. We had a lot of rain today. Yesterday it was 72 degrees and sunny. The bees were flying really hard. Our red maples have just started to bloom at the very tops, so the, yesterday was the first maple, uh, maple pollen or pollen of any kind to come into the hives. Now, I was in these hives briefly about two weeks ago, and one of the questions I get all the time from the newer beekeepers is, what should I be doing or looking for this time of year? The biggest thing is, this is the time of year when a lot of hives starve. Our temperatures are up and down daily, we get days where it's rain day after day after day. So the bees can't get out the forage and they're running very, very low on stores from last fall. So as I was peeking around in the hives, some of them still had a couple frames of honey, but they had burned through a tremendous amount of food. And some of them really didn't have a lot of pollen stores from last fall very good. So they're brooding up. They've been brooding up for weeks now, started very slowly. The nests are starting to expand now as the uh, days are growing longer and the temperatures are coming up. This is a critical time of year for the bees to turn over that nest. We have some very old bees that have overwintered. As soon as they start raising this year's brood, their time clock starts. They have a very limited life once they start taking care of brood. So where it's important to make sure that they have food and nutrition to get that nest turned over and handed over to the young spring bees. So I went through these hives yesterday. I tried to film some of it. It was extremely windy. I was having problems with the, uh, the camera. Um, so the videos are just they're really poor quality. So I'm just going to touch on a few things. I might throw a couple still photos in it toward the end. Biggest thing you do is come up behind your hives, reach up underneath them, and tilt them up. How lightweight do they feel? You should know how much your empty hives weigh as far as like a box with frames and a lid and a bottom board. So you can judge how much do they have left. Pop the lid. You don't want to be digging around in there too much this time of year. You just want to see that are they alive and where are they in there? Is the cluster off to one side? Is it moved around? Is it spread out? Do you have four, five, or six frames of bees or do you have a small cluster? Wherever that cluster is, especially if it's small, do they have food next to them? Take your hive tool or a pocket knife, reach down in around them, and see if you're pulling up honey. That's really critical. If they are all off to one side and you're not finding anything next to them, check the opposite side. Is there a couple frames of honey that you can move over next to them? Another thing you can do is obviously add some sort of pollen patty or protein supplement. That's why I was in mine about two weeks ago. All I did was pop the lids, slide a pollen patty in, close them back up. They're already brooding up. They're already burning through whatever they had left from last fall. Go ahead and help them. They need the protein. They need the nutrition to raise the young bees. And again, yesterday was the first day of natural pollen coming in. So the pollen patty kind of helped them over that bridge over that. Now, another thing is they're expecting rain several days this week. They will not be able to get back out of the hive. They're going to burn through that pollen they brought in yesterday, and they're bringing in some right now. Even though it's you know overcast, it's rained most of the day, the rain has stopped. I was watching them a minute ago. They're finding pollen. They're bringing it in. They're trying really hard. Help them out a little bit. This particular one, I pulled two empty frames out on the far side. It's got six frames of bees. I put a frame feeder in. So this one got an additional one pound pollen patty on top and then it got the frame feeder put in just to kind of help them over the hump. You give it a couple more weeks things are really going to start blooming. Uh, I won't have to do any more supplement. This is a critical time of year. So get in there. Don't dig around too much. Don't tear the nest apart. Make sure that they're alive, where they are, how big they are, and do they need a little supplement? Chances are they could use a little, little help. Just give them a little help. Button them back up. Wait till we're into a more consistent warm weather and they've had time to turn that nest over a little more before you start really digging in there, making sure that you know, you've got a, a healthy hive going on. 
a couple more weeks isn't going to make or break as far as getting in there making sure everything is okay are they alive give them food button them back up that's probably the most important thing now here in just a few weeks i'm going to do my first spring mite treatment late last summer uh, probably in a toward the end of august we had a little bit of a cool down i was able to use the formic pro formic pro really cleans up the hives really good it's disruptive on the pheromones and the bees definitely don't like it but it cleans them up better than anything i've ever tried i've never used formic pro or mite away quick uh, quick strips in the spring because i think it's too disruptive on the young nest as they're trying to build it up uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to use this spring, so uh, I'd like some recommendations from you guys. What do you use first thing in the spring to get them cleaned up to make sure that they got a good jump start going, going into the season? You know, we're not that far away from the honey flow uh, here in southern Ohio. We're like a lot of the states around me. We have a honey flow that starts towards the uh, middle or end of March, goes until early June, and that's really about it. We have a fairly short season. So we need to have healthy hives, good population buildup, that they're not stressed out with mites or the viruses that they transmit to them. So what do you guys use to clean up mites first thing in the spring to make sure that they are clean? Let me know, put them in the comments below. And if you have any other questions, go ahead and either send me an email or put them in the comments below. I'm gonna to try to throw a couple still photos at the end of this video. This is just a really short, quick spring first look. Let's give them a little bit of food, make sure we got everything going good, and move on. So uh, I'll have another video out probably in the next 10 days where I actually get in these hives and really look them over and see what they're doing. But at, at this point, I just want to give them a little supplement. So until next time, take care.